What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to export your videos and films inside of Final Cut Pro 10. This of course works with any version of Final Cut Pro, but I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro 10 10.2.2 in case you are wondering. So I get this question a lot and that is how do you export your videos in Final Cut Pro? And you know, the simple answer to that is it's very easy and simple to do. So all you have to do is go over to the right right here and you're going to have like a little square with an arrow coming out and that is the uh, destination to share your video in other words to export your clips now it's gonna be next to the inspector button here or if you don't see this button just go over to the top on the menu bar go to file and then go down here you have a couple of options you have DVD if you want to export it to a DVD or a CD a master file which is what I usually do uh, to export my videos in Final Cut Pro Apple devices 720p and 1080p it exports the video so it's compatible with iPhones iPads and iPod touches um, if you if you want to upload it to Facebook, YouTube, or Vimeo, or you can even create your own destination. But what I do is I select master file, but I usually go over to file, share, and then master file. But some people like this shortcut here, which is great too. Uh, and it gives you the same uh, presets here. So just click master file. And then here you can just skim over your video to see how it will look like once it exports. And then here you can just give your video a title. Um, you can always change this when you uh, save it as. And here you can add some description, uh, your description here, a creator, of course, that's me. You can add some tags. Here's just some brief uh, description of what your video is. It's in 1920 by 1080, which is what I filmed in. So this could be different. It could be 60, could be 24, 23, 30. Uh, this doesn't matter though. The stereo left and right, 48 kilohertz. It's a minute and seven seconds, and it's rolling as a quick time. Now it's going to be 190 megabytes estimated. So every time I export a video in Final Cut Pro, this is always wrong. Usually it's less, so just don't really worry about that. Uh, and then go over to settings, and then here's where you really want to pay close attention to. So master files what we're exporting as. Now this could be different depending on what other uh, settings you, uh, what other presets you use to export your video, but this is the only uh, way that I know. And the format you wanna make sure that's on video and audio. The video codec is set on H.264, which is standard for most videos. So just select H.264. You can select other ones if you want, but they're just gonna make your video file size way, way large. The resolution should be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. If you have anything else different, you will have some black bars on on the sides. Usually you can change this when you first create your project or you can change it in the project settings. And then for the audio file format, we're going to go ahead and select that. It should be set to QuickTime Movie and AAC. Now include chapter markers is usually checked. Um, this just includes some chapter markers. And what that is, is if you're making a, a film or a movie in Final Cut Pro, you can skip to certain parts throughout the film. So that's pretty much what it is. And then right here where it says when done, just you know select do nothing. Now if you want to, you you can open it up with QuickTime Player. Uh, it's set to default and then click next. And right here where it says where, this is just the destination. I want it to export it to my desktop. And if you don't want it to save it on here or you don't have um, the place to export it in, then you click the down arrow and here you could go more in depth to where you want to export your video. Now all you have to do is click next and then click save and then I'm going to replace that because I already exported my film. But here it says share successful. Uh, once you're finished, you will have this option here and just click close and your video has now exported. So we can go ahead and quickly look at that. And if you go over to get info, it's 133 megabytes, which is again less. If you find this video helpful in any way, then please leave a rating below in the rating section below. That will be awesome, guys. Also leave some video suggestions in the comment section. That will be awesome awesome too. And until next time, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.